Hello everyone. If you're interested in an older version of a Damon Intruder and you're looking to see what they're like inside, I'm going to show you mine if you want to stay tuned. Or if you're just curious to see some of the modifications I've done, um, I'm going to take you through a little tour of this 32 and a half foot B series Damon Intruder. Um, I'm making this video because I, when I was looking at this girl, uh, I came back and I couldn't find any videos on her. So I'm going to add this video on. So as you can tell, I have made some modifications on the outside. I did take off a lot of the lettering uh, in the decals. And as you can see on the bottom, I painted her all in black. I used the uh, truck, you know, the the uh, rhino liner or truck liner, you know, just to help with the beating on the roads and everything else, you know, during dirt roads. But here we're going down the side just to show you. Um, one thing that I did like about this is the amount of storage that's underneath a lot of storage bins, which I will later on open those up for everyone um oop, as you can see we're going towards the back now now we're getting a little tight so here's the back end backup camera it's got a little storage bin in the back which i really liked as you can see, my ladder is removed. That, that's the, the guy prior to me removed that, but I'm okay with it. So here's down the side, more storage. You have your, uh, right there is the cable outlet. Your power outlets. The power outlet. And there's your, your venting. That's the uh, stove and fridge. And you got more. There's your uh, hot water heater venter. This is going down the side, all nice and black. So we're back up to the front again. So we're back in the front again, and I've gone through and opened up all the containment, all the units. So we can see, just give you engine compartment in there, a little difficult to see. Uh, motors underneath, it's cab over. But that's the, you know, where you do your maintenance, stuff like that. Uh, so come to the first compartment. Nice compartments, it's one reason why I like this. Uh, as you can see, it goes all the way through. So they're nice and deep compartments. Yeah. And uh, one of my attractions to this. Go through. So we have another one. Another one that goes all the way through. A lot of stuff. There's my, my fridge. Uh, that light unit or the socket unit I put in there for some extra electricity for outside. But, you know, again, it goes all the way through. Coming up to the, there's a propane tank, nice and big. It's nice. Next compartment we have is the water containment. This one was replaced, so I don't know what the original one looks like, but this is huge. This water compartment actually goes all the way underneath. So then we have the next, we have the next cubby, next storage unit. So in the back here, that doesn't go in deep. Um, basically that's about it. But you have the, another, as you can see, it goes all the way through. There's my ladder. 
I like to have that ladder instead anyway. It's nice. Just a quick fold-out ladder. I could put it anywhere to get to the roof. I'm fixing that right now. <laughs> so now we're coming to the back end with a... As you can see, one of the other attractions I liked about this was the storage bin, the storage trunk. You don't get this on too many models. I like it. The top is a little deeper. It's a good two and a half feet, maybe three feet. And the bottom too, as well. You got a shelf in the middle. So we're coming around the other side. And again, there's another little small compartment in here that I hold my hoses and stuff in. And again, this is, you know, all the way through. Nice, nice, big compartments in here. So now to where, now this is where my water hookup is. The little white box right there. And this is, you know, the drain sewage, the sewage drain and all that stuff. It's all right in there. That's the next unit is a storage unit, which again, all the way through what I liked. So now the second compartment on this side is where the generator is and my batteries. So you can run things off of that. And then we have the first compartment up front and as you can see, it goes all the way through. So it's about two feet deep in the, until the riser. So you can store stuff in there. So it's nice. Um, one attraction I had to this was, like I said, all of the storage space underneath. There's a lot. So we're not back to the front again. So now we're inside. This is the front. As you see, it has the typical storage up top. And my TV, that obviously I put in. And another storage piece there. Great feature about this that you didn't, I didn't see in many other RVs is the, the fans. You got a fan right there in the corner. Fan right there. It actually keeps this place pretty cool the fans work pretty hard, pretty good. So this is the passenger seat. It's turned around. And another, another nice feature about this is the dash comes, the storage compartment on the dash comes down and it's a little workspace. If you like to work and a little, don't need much. See my nights, my guider nights. There's my other my other knight that guides me along my way. So here's the dash. So we're at the the captain's seat. Nice big windows. The window goes all the way around. So one modification I did do is as you can see the TV blocks the little cabinets there, but I can actually, and there's another compartment behind the TV, but I can actually lift the TV up. And there's my compartment I can use or get to my other compartments if I need them. They do open up. So here's the dash. That's the backup monitor up top and the radio. Basic uh, heat unit. Basic dash. So this is all your switches for your, you know, your horn and your lights and your fog lights. And there's two lights up top. 
above the seats that you can turn on. You start your generator and the fan and stuff like that. So, you know, typical dash. So that's the cubby where the backup monitors usually sometimes are. It does open up. Nice little storage compartment. So a little, you can, like I said, you can spin the seat around. And there's the little readers readers table. Throw some books and stuff in there. Have sit there with your coffee. But there's also a hidden table that I redid. As you can see, a hidden table. Now in other models you would have another chair right there with seat belts. I removed it and that's Tierra's crate for her when we go on our little rides. There's the door. I stoned, I put some laminate stone around the top and the sides. Add a little, little touch to it. So there's some cabinets up top, my table. I redid the table over, put, put a mahogany table in there. Same thing, put the stone in. That's just a laminate, like a floor laminate that I glued down and put on there. Looks nice, I like it. So go along the kitchen and see the fridge. There's a microwave. That's the, underneath is a, is just reading station and it tells you where, you know, how full your tanks are and things like that. The stove's covered. So this does, so this has got a three burner, which is plenty for me. my sink I redid the tops over the cutting boards I just colored one side it's a double sink as you can see right there is a double sink it's a nice window behind it my beautiful coffee maker no that doesn't come stock so this is one of your cabinets right there one of my favorite features my slide out tray, my coffee and sugar. and But this goes back all the way inside. It's got a plug inside. So it was a pantry bin. Again, pretty typical for these types of models. Gives you an idea. So here's a, this is, here's the couch. Cushions. Couch does come out to a bed. Quick and easy. Just flop it down and get a nice bed. So this also has a storage compartment again, underneath the couch. Goes all the way deep underneath the couch, nice big space. Again, this is one thing I liked about this unit 
this rig. So we're back to the kitchen again. So that's the top drawer. A little junk drawer, kind of say. And there's your access to your, your water tank. And I just put some cleaning supplies in there, but that's where your hot water heater is in the in this sink, drain. As you see, this three shelves, uh, three cabinets for, you know, silverware and things like that. And the stove. There's your basic stove. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, above it is the Microwave, fridge, a right, fridge you can run, you know, on electric or on propane. What's a decent size and for a single guy? You get a Good amount of space. This is shelves. I got to put the racks back on, but there's normally little racks. There's the fridge. Some spots for the inside the fridge. But your basic RV fridge. This is a little larger. I liked it. Now we're walking towards the bathroom area. As you can see, there's a privacy door right there to the right. You can slide that over if you want a little privacy. About to walk into the bathroom. So there's a shower. I got a couple things in the shower, but I'm six feet and I fit in it nice. You know, I got plenty of room to look, you know, move around. But a lot of space in there. Go to the mirror. Hey. This is the mirror. Medicine cabinet. You know, throw some toiletries and I get some towels in there. But that's a, uh, you know, go to only that's only about four or five inches deep. But good little space. And sink. Decent sink. Yeah, average size sink. And an outlet. But this does have uh, access to the plumbing underneath. I throw a little waste basket in there and some cleaning stuff, but it goes in pretty pretty deep. Now we're going into the bathroom area. So mine has a towel rack on the door. And then has a bathroom window. Um, I replaced all the shades with slide down shades. It's nice. So up top we have a, a cabinet. Get some Scots in there. Scots is good for breaking down. Regular standard toilet. Nothing crazy. I redid all the floors. So the floors have been done over, as you can see. Little floating floor in there. This is from the this is looking from the bathroom. It's got a 
good amount of space. Like I said, the one thing I liked about it is all the storage. So the bathroom door has a mirror. Let me get a couple pantry here. So here's another spot for the pantry for more food. Nice and deep. And there's a drawer down below. Store some towels, extra towels. There's the electrical. That's the fuse box and the inverter and converter. So there's a there's another privacy door. So there's two privacy doors in this, which was another feature I liked. That privacy door blocks the bedroom. So we're going into the bedroom now. Nice big back window. So you get some storage up top for clothing or whatever else you like to put in. Some speakers. As you can see, it's got the AC in here. This has got dual ACs. Nice. Nice lights. You can turn them on and off right by the bed. So there's two two uh, two closets that you can hang stuff up in. There's one, and they both have a drawer on the bottom, a little nightstand drawer. Then there's another little access on the bottom. You can store some stuff like shoes and stuff, and it's where the cable box is. The thing called a telephone box, if any of you remember what those things are. So I, I did finish the stone top on the, like I said, nice big window in the back. So again, you have the, another closet to hang stuff up in. It's nice, probably about a foot wide. Goes back about, about a foot and a half, two feet. So another window, windows on both sides. So now we're looking at the main closet. Pretty large, a lot of storage space in there. And as you can see, Nice big mirror, again, if you need a mirror, nice big mirror to look at. And this is the drawer, dresser drawers, decent size. But there's, as you can see, there's two, two there. So there's another two on the left. So four drawers total. Again, big mirror. So now we're coming over to the, to the cubby. So that's a corner cubby. That's typically, you know, back in the day, that's where a TV would go. Um, 
I have a TV in the closet that's got to get hooked up in there. Uh, currently, I'm just using it as a storage. But it's pretty decent size. Goes in pretty deep. When I put my TV on there, it's going to be able to swivel out so I can... TV is going to act as my door. But it does have regular gold door if you want to close it. Thermostat. So we're walking back out of the bedroom. And this is, again, we're back in the kitchen in the main area. I hope for any of you who are interested in one of these, like I said, this is a 1994. And if you're interested, I, I like them. Spacey, a lot of space, a lot of storage space. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good time.